Hi there, I'm Mike Gould here for Aesthetics, and this is my quick shift. Over the years, I've been fortunate enough to put together a pretty big collection of hockey jerseys, and you can see some of them behind me in my jersey cabinet. My hockey jerseys come from an assortment of different leagues, whether they be the National Hockey League, the American Hockey League, European Leagues, and International Hockey. Now, I'm from Calgary. I grew up a Calgary Flames fan, and a lot of my jerseys are Calgary Flames jerseys. But today, the ones that I'm going to be sharing with you are not exclusively Calgary Flames jerseys. I'm going to be sharing with you five jerseys from my collection that I feel hold a certain degree of significance to me. They either connect to certain memories from my upbringing as a hockey fan, they connect to milestones from my career covering hockey, as I do for flamesnation.ca and occasionally as a guest on Sportsnet 960 The Fan Radio here in Calgary, or they're just jerseys that I think are really cool to look at. So without further ado, here are five jerseys from my collection that I feel are especially significant. So the first jersey that I'm going to be talking about today is an international hockey jersey from the 2010 Winter Olympics that were held here in Canada in Vancouver. And those were huge. When I was nine years old, I watched basically every game that Team Canada played in and a few others too. And I was just enthralled by both the men's and the women's tournaments. Uh, obviously, we had Jerome McGinley in, here in Calgary who was playing for Team Canada, and he was a huge part of that team. But also the women's tournament was fantastic, and Team Canada's women's team was just outstanding. With Megan Agosta, Haley Wickenheiser, uh, it was Mary Philippe Poulin's first Olympics. But also in net, we had an absolutely incredible goaltender who sort of carried the team on her back, and that was Shannon Zabados. And I am fortunate enough to have a Shannon Zabados jersey from those Olympic Games. And I had this one customized here in Calgary by a company called Calcrests that specializes in doing Team Canada jerseys, and they did an outstanding job with this one, and it's one that I wear with pride, because Shannon Zabados is one of the most outstanding international hockey goaltenders of all time. So the next jersey on my list I actually acquired relatively recently. I purchased it at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome only a couple months ago, and it was actually during a game where I was working at a team store, and I was just working there as a part-time job, and at the end of my shift I decided to pick up a Calgary Hitman jersey. And looking at this jersey at first, there's not a whole lot of significance about it. It's just a blank CCM replica jersey, no name on the back as you can see, but there will be a name on the back there soon, because I didn't know it at the time, but when I was at this game, it was Luke Prokop's last home game with the Calgary Hitmen. Uh, he was traded away to the Edmonton Oil Kings just a couple days later, but I made a point when I was on my break in that shift to go out and watch Luke Prokop, and he had the pride tape on his stick, and it, honestly, when Luke Prokop came out over the summer, it was just totally inspiring, him being the first player under NHL contract to come out as gay. Um, I was just so honored that we were able to have him in Calgary playing for one of our teams. And absolutely, the significance of this jersey, me having purchased it during Luke Prokop's last game, it will absolutely become a Luke Prokop jersey at some point in the future. So the next jersey that I'm gonna be talking about today is the second Team Canada jersey on this list. And it's also the one that I purchased the most recently. I got this jersey for a ridiculously cheap price and I can actually prove it to you because I still have the price tag on it. I got this jersey at a Goodwill store here in Calgary and you can see the price tag right there, $25. And on the front, it just looks like your standard Team Canada jersey. It's from the 2004 World Cup of Hockey, but on the back, it's a Brad Richards jersey and it's signed. And this jersey is emblematic of most of my collection, which I purchased quite a few of them at thrift stores, secondhand stores, pawn shops. Uh, I have quite a few jerseys. I probably have a few dozen jerseys. And I would say half of them I probably purchased for less than $60. If you know the right place to go, and especially if you live in Canada where we have a lot of hockey fans here, there's a pretty good way to build a pretty impressive collection of hockey jerseys without spending a whole lot of money. And this Brad Richards jersey, I haven't worn it on the ice yet. Uh, it's still pretty new to my collection. I still got the price tag on it, but 
It's a pretty cool jersey, even though Brad Richards was the guy who won the Conn Smythe Trophy when his Tampa Bay Lightning defeated the Calgary Flames in the 2004 Stanley Cup Finals. So that hurts a little bit. But other than that, it's a pretty cool jersey. So the next jersey on my list is actually one that I purchased quite a while ago. And in fact, it's a little bit too small for me today, but it's a jersey that still holds quite a bit of significance to me. And it's a jersey that I actually got for my birthday when I was 14 years old. And it was during a Flames season where they actually made the playoffs for the first time in six years. And at the time, the Flames were looking to be turning a corner a little bit. Johnny Gaudreau was in his first season with the team. He'd eventually go on to be a finalist for the Calder Trophy, and it seemed like everybody was getting Johnny's jersey. And if it wasn't him, it was probably going to be Sean Monaghan or maybe Mark Giordano. But I wanted somebody different, and I wasn't sure who I was going to get. I sort of looked up and down the roster, looking for guys who I didn't really ever see their jerseys at the Saddle. And I eventually settled on two finalists. I settled on... Rafael Diaz, who was a defenseman, and I settled on David Jones. And I eventually went for Jones, mostly because he shot right, he was a winger. And when I played ice hockey, that was my last season playing for quite a few years, I was also a right shooting right winger. And so I decided to get a David Jones jersey. And it's a little bit too small for me, like I said, but it got a few looks at the saddle alone when I would wear it there. <laughs> it was certainly unique. I don't think I've ever seen another one of these David Jones number 19 jerseys in the Calgary Flames script alternate uh, style, but it eventually turned out to have some even stronger meaning to me later that same season because the Flames ended up making the playoffs that year for the first time in six seasons. And in their first round series against the Vancouver Canucks, I watched a playoff game in a restaurant. The Flames went down one nothing to the Canucks in game one in the second period. And and I was feeling a little bit dejected. I wasn't sure if they were gonna come back and they didn't score for the rest of the second period. So they went into the third period down one nothing. But the Flames that year were a team that was very strong at coming back in the third period. And I should have known that. So I was elated when the guy who tied it up at one for the Flames was John Sheet scores. And some people in that restaurant saw me wearing this Jones jersey of all people, but him being the guy who had tied the game for their team. I actually got picked up and put on a table and cheered by the entire restaurant. And the Flames ended up going on to win that game two to one off of a Chris Russell goal in the last minute of the third period. Uh, that was a very special moment. And it made me know for good that this was my team. Uh, and I still cherish that memory to this day. I might have to get a bigger one of these in the future so I can actually wear it, but it's still special to me all the same. So the final jersey on this list represents a milestone from my career covering hockey. 2020-21 was the first season in which I got to cover a professional hockey team in person as an accredited member of the media. Um, the Stockton Heat are the American Hockey League affiliate of the Calgary Flames. And for that season, they played out of Calgary, out of the saddle alone, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And I managed to get into the press box to cover all 13 of their home games at the saddle alone. I got to talk to players and the head coach, Kale McLean, after every game. And it was a wonderful experience. And I can't thank the Heat organization enough for allowing me that opportunity. And I actually got to visit Stockton, taken a couple games. And in commemoration of my first time covering a pro hockey team in person, I decided to purchase a Heat jersey after last season. And the jersey that I purchased was from the team's 2019-20 season. It was the 15th anniversary of hockey in Stockton. Prior to the Heat uh, relocating to Stockton in 2015, an ECHL team called the Thunder had played out of the Stockton Arena for 10 seasons. And so in 2019-20, the Heat came out with a 15th anniversary jersey, and I have it right here, to commemorate 15 years of hockey played out of the Stockton Arena, both the AHL and the ECHL. And it's a gray jersey with a red and yellow crest. And on the back, I decided to put a player's name, uh, Matthew Phillips. And Phillips was a player who tied for the team lead in scoring during the year that I covered the, covered the Heat. And this year he's up over a point per game again, and uh, he's doing an excellent job. And he's small, like me. He's five foot, five foot eight now and 165 pounds. And when I was coming up playing minor hockey, I was always smaller than all of my teammates. And it was something that I always felt 
maybe hampered me a little bit. I was always fast, but I could never really get onto the top teams because I always sort of lacked in height a little bit. And so when I saw Matthew Phillips, I was sort of inspired a little bit by how somebody who's his stature can make it so far in hockey and keep proving doubters wrong. So I felt it was really important to get a Heat jersey won as a commemoration of my first season covering pro hockey. And also I wanted to recognize a player who I think has done quite a bit in his career to overcome any doubts that he doesn't have the skills to be a high impact player at the professional ranks. And that's Matthew Phillips. So this is a jersey that's very significant to me. And if I ever decide to sell any of the jerseys in this collection, it ain't gonna be this one. Thank you all for watching and thank you for subscribing to the Aesthetics YouTube channel. And if there's any jerseys in the cabinet behind me or in the link in the description that you think should have made the cut, feel free to let me know. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.